Right. Team. Good day. Uh, boom. There we go. Looks good. Uh, let me just adjust. Oh. I want that to happen. Beauty. First live row for four weeks. Michael. Right. We've got Michael in the chat. Good. Oh. Row bros here too. Very nice. Okay. Great. Awesome. Uh, just making sure everything is good on my end. I probably should build like a a stand rather than the the seat, the, the stool that it's sitting on, propped up with a couple of things. Um, but that's okay. We're not. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get to that. Um, right. Welcome. Um, we're back. Uh, great event at the World Indoors. Um, probably the 30 plus hours of travel to get there from New Zealand. No, not ideal, but it didn't matter. Um, we've got plenty of time for sleep. Um, but a really, really good event. Um, there's some really good things happening in the space of indoor rowing. Um, uh, a lot, which you'll hear about soon. Um, the IOC is interested in us being in the esports games uh, in some capacity. Uh, so yeah, the uh, the the world and I guess the community of indoor rowing is is going very well, um, which is something that I enjoy, uh, something that I want to do a little bit more of. Um, so there's there's a lot happening. Um, fast moving is everything's always fast moving, uh, but it was really good to see, I guess, the vast variety of forms um techniques that people were uh that people were doing um just taking tidbits from from people and the way that they like obviously approach things um just their style of of their stroke um you know and and it is it was very different because you know there was there was obviously the 500s uh, just very, very, very powerful people. Um, and then you obviously get into that 2K, um, which is traditional, um, which which created what I would call a lot more sustainable rhythm, okay, using the biomechanics of the stroke and of our body to you could see the people that were able to, to manage and hold their speed, um, you know, and, and obviously it's still tough, Right, they're still working to failure, um, but really, just I, I guess it solidifies for me what I'm trying to get through to everybody is about the biomechanics and the movement of the stroke, um, and that's probably the key, the key aspect and element to how we make this machine go. Okay, and I've thought about it a lot uh, while I was there, while I was on the plane, while I've been home. Um, and I think we're on the right path because we have to be able to use ourselves as the, um, I don't know, I'm trying to describe it, that the way we need to be doing it and the way that we need to be, I guess, the, the, the technique and the rhythm, okay? And I guess the rhythm part, when we talk about rhythm, you might just think, you know, tick, tock, tick, tock, you know, that's like the rhythm of what we're doing. But I feel like the rhythm's all the movements, right? The movements we're creating, how we're how we're getting to a certain point, how we're getting out of a certain point, how how we're 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 trying to cruise forward, you know, with with relaxation. You know, this whole rhythm is just this whole stroke, right? It's just this whole dance of how we do it. And and I looked at the way that people could could get better. And from a coaching point of view, I think that's what I'm trying to do is, is help people, right? And just get an understanding, and, and hence why we're on the chat, um, is because there's just little things that can that can make us go faster by small margins, right? And what happens is we, we can't look at thinking, oh, I'm going to drop seconds just like that, right? There's work we do every day. There's work we do every week. There's work we do over a month. There's work we do over two, or three, or four months to get to a certain point, you know. And just real basic things, you know. I'm watching people when their their handles are going down, or the, as they're coming through, there's there's like a little bit of coming up to the finish. And you just look at it, and all you got to do is understand that it's math and and physics, where you're looking at the amount of watts that you're producing and how you're producing them, and it's like, well, if you didn't 
if you didn't drop your hands or the body into the front, you know, and, and come up on it, then yeah, it might feel good to be able to do it. But what if you're wasting five watts every time, right? And you multiply that by 200, which is sort of probably the number you're going to do over a 2K. And you're like, oh, it's like five strokes, right? And you go, man, I could have been five strokes quicker, you know? And what, what does that equal? That could be five, t- could be 10 seconds. Okay, could be, you know, could be anywhere between that that number. And so that's the whole thing. It's just trying to find those little things all the way that create that speed, right? And and allow us to use our body's, our body's size, our body's natural compression, uh, our flexibility, whether we've got it or not, to, to really use this machine to just keep it going, right? And and that's the plain and simple thing. And and I talk about it all the time, okay. Has got to keep that flywheel moving. We, we're the only ones that slow it down. Okay, this this is going to slow down naturally because of air escaping and everything else. But it's all about us and about what we're doing, right? And we 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 try one thing different on one stroke and whatever to the other, and it slows down. Okay, and then once it slows down, we have to use energy to get it moving again. Okay. A small amount of energy, and that's one of the keys as well. Is I'd see people and they'd slow down and they'd really go for it again, and I'd be like, hmm. And and it's just little things that I've taken in, which I feel like I'm getting across pretty well, uh, to make sure that all we're trying to do is get this rhythm going, get this rhythm going, keep it going, and find find our equilibrium, okay. And and there is an equilibrium in what we do because if we we tip over it, we go one way or the other. You run out of gas. Or if you're not quite on the equilibrium, you get to the finish, you'll be like, oh, I could have done that a bit better. Or I could have gone a bit harder. Okay. So it's finding our way to that peak and then how long we can stay at that peak for, right? That red line that I, I talk about. So just that's an observation from me. Um, I We're going to keep working. I'll, I'll keep explaining things, uh, keep talking about things as we're doing it. Um, one which recently I've seen a lot of and I saw people doing it there in practice and I talked to. Um, and and I think it is wise, okay? We we I we did it a little bit. Um, I don't recommend doing it for long periods of time, but I feel like we, we probably, we might just do it here in, in the warm-up a little bit as the feed out rowing, okay? A um, lot of conversation about it. I don't know why we got onto feed out rowing. But someone was talking to me about bare feet and all this other stuff. And I was like, yeah, well, bare feet rowing is pretty good. Um, and then obviously seeing a lot of things online, people talk about bare feet rowing and, and ah, sorry, feet out rowing. Uh, and so I was like, yeah, look, let's let's cover that off today. Okay, so when we, we'll start, we'll jump into a warm up in a second um, and we'll do it with feet out just so I can just so we can get an understanding, right? And and we'll put our feet in halfway through the warm-up just to, to feel it. Um, but what we're trying to do and with this sort of feet out rowing style is that I don't feel like it's a, a it's a very it's a it's good for a short period, but then go back to doing what we're doing, right? And with any exercise, you can't just stick on it for like for ages and ages and ages. Because you've got to be able to go, you've got to be able to do an exercise and then fully finish the stroke or do the whole profile. Okay. Um, but what feet out rowing does, which we can do now as we as we start to warm up, is it really does help with what I'm which which what I believe in terms of the stroke is that we create the stroke, you know, like that spinning top through there. Okay. So when we start, so if we, we start this warm up now, right? And you just got to remember that this part from, from here to here, we're only maintaining what we're doing, okay? The moment we think that we're trying to give it more here, we're not, it's not really going to help, okay? Everything in the stroke is done through that middle. Once the body's going, and if I draw a force curve on here, and if you had the force curve on here now, and, and you can, right? Press the second button down. So as we start this warm up, you'll see that force curve, right? And so we can create the front, and then the bottom should tail off relatively nicely, okay? Because 
the peak power is finished. Okay, there's no way for us to try and make it go even further. Okay, and if we try, we're using tiny muscles, okay, which don't have much energy to be able to produce the power. Now, in the last 45 seconds of a piece of a test, fuck it, just absolutely rip shit and bust. I don't care, right? Because you're probably not going to lose any speed. But if this is how you start rowing through the middle of your piece with this, trying to give it more at the finish, you're just going to run out of gas. These little muscles are going to tighten up and we're not going to be able to get that speed, okay? So with the feet out, it really does teach you that that part, that connection, that drive, even almost thinking about not finishing the handle into the body, okay, gives us that feeling of I've got that push through the front, I've got the hang, I can feel the body, and I'm just letting it off, okay? So if we feel that together, we can feel how we have that moment of take up, we can feel the body getting pushed by the legs, okay? Don't be afraid to just let the feet come up a little bit, Hold the core, okay? We don't have to be in a rush, okay? Because we can't obviously get ourselves over quickly, so don't worry too much about the rating. But just feel that, okay? And then we're, we're focusing on that push from there, okay? Through that middle of the stroke, from there, okay, that press on the feet that creates that body coming back, okay, and we've got that core stability, we don't have to be stiff, thinking I've got to be super rigid, okay, we've got an element of suppleness, and nice movement, okay? Now just slip your feet back in and we'll just run for another minute or so. But the same principle applies, okay? That now what you can do is that same feeling we just had out of the front, you can think about putting a bit more pressure on, okay, from there. And because our feet are going to hold it, we can now feel that motion right through. Okay? You can feel that hang. Feel the handle. Nice and flat. Okay, elastic length, just let ourselves roll forward and push. Okay, a couple more. Nice. Okay, so My belief is still how we create this motion through here, okay? The whole stroke, yes, needs to be done in a certain way. We need to have recovered properly. We need to be supple to get into the front. Okay? All of that comes into the equation. But how we maintain old mate here, the only way we're doing it is on the drive, okay? And it's it's this part through here. Okay, so if you think about it, the actual drive mechanism of making the flywheel move, okay, is 
apart from here to about here, okay? And that's about it. Now that sounds weird, okay? But that, if you look on the force curve, is the only time that you're increasing or, or maintaining the speed of that, okay? It's the only time that that's going through, okay? So that's the important part, okay? Is what we're doing through there and out of here, okay? And that's where we need to be stable, we need to roll in, we need to hang, okay? Which allows us then to use these, these, this, these things, right? To really hang, and swing through that middle, okay, to get that sequence of our stroke through the drive, okay. This part here is maintenance, okay. This part here is preparation. We get that maintenance, that preparation, and that drive, okay. So that's our focus today, right, while we do this pyramid is just Understanding those pieces of the stroke, really starting to just get that rhythm going that we're doing, okay? That continuous motion. What we're going to do is we're going to set it up as a variable interval, okay, on the screen, because what that'll do is if we had just set a 29 minute piece, we're not really going to get the feedback when we go back into the memory, okay? And this is, you know, obviously using the monitor for, for our benefit. Uh, is that if we set it to that, then it's going to spit us out five minute, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five on the on the memory, and we'll be able to see the splits for each one. We'll be able to see the meters for each one. So you can go back and have a look and be like, okay, was that one the same as that? Was that the same as that? Or actually, were these a little bit better? Okay, or were these a little bit slower? And it gives us a chance at these different ratings to feel what we're doing with the machine. Okay, as the rating comes up. Things have to move a little bit quicker, right? We think about the acceleration of our lead drive a little bit faster. Not so much the power that we're putting in, but the acceleration and the, and the ease of movement and, and how we get into the front, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, and it'll be a good little workout, okay? It's just really easy, it's basically 30 minutes. Uh, and it should suffice a whole bunch of things coming up and rate, a lot of steady stuff. You know, you've got to remember that the actual the majority of it's pretty low, right? There's only five minutes we were going up to some height, okay? But that creates that relaxation on the way back down, feeling that flywheel decelerate over a certain number of strokes, not just like bleh, and then hold it down, okay? So we sh it should be pretty good, okay? It should be really good. Uh, everyone here, feed out. I like it. Chris, good man. Uh, yeah. We can talk about that a little bit more at the end. Um, I thought we'd better get get a hustle on. Uh, so, okay, for the setup today, we're going to use the variable interval setting, okay? Now, if it's going to be a little bit much for you, you can just set it or just row, whatever, and I'll call the changes, okay? But otherwise, if you follow me here briefly, and I'll take my time, we should be able to get through it pretty easy, okay? So, select workout. New workout, intervals, bottom one should say variable, okay? Now we press time, okay? Now we just go up with the set time to five, you should see five flashing, and then we just press the checkbox. Simple, okay? Now we go into time again, we just decrease the time to four minutes, and we press the checkbox, easy, okay? Time again, three minutes, checkbox. Time again, two minutes, checkbox. Time again, one minute, checkbox, okay? Now we go back up, so time again, and we go two, checkbox. Time again, three, checkbox. Time again, four, Checkbox. Time again. Five. Checkbox. Now it should say interval 10 at the top because it's asking us to put the 10th interval in, but we're not going to. Okay? So we're going to be here for a second. Then we're going to press no more intervals and then we're going to rock and roll. Okay?
Beautiful. Okay, let's press no more intervals. Should see five on the screen. Beauty. Okay, so as you can see, the, the ratings are a bit weird because I was like, you know what? I do so much on the even. <laughs> so I thought we'll do odds today. Okay, but remember, don't be so fixated on the rating. If the rating's plus or minus a little bit, that's okay. Okay, because what, what we're wanting to be doing is working on the technique. Okay, the technique, yes, the rhythm's there, but if the rhythm's jumping up and down, have a look at it. if it's five or six strokes and it stays on a rating, that whatever, okay? But you've got to remember that this doesn't know if it's a half stroke or a full stroke. It could be 19.5, blah, 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 whatever, okay? So here we go. Perfect. Right, let's rock and roll, team. Okay. Right, here we go. Okay. Right, five minutes, 19 rates. Are you ready? Attention. Go. Okay, 19, feel nice and loose, no rush coming forward, we've got patience, we've got time, remembering that this whole motion coming forward wants to feel like it happens at one pace, okay, not quick, slow, quick, this whole motion, one speed as we glide forward. Flywheel's moving nice and freely. Allows us to feel our rhythm. And we can feel our motion. We can feel the, the hang and the press from the front. There, elastic, let that body naturally compress. Okay, good. Nice and flat with that chain, that handle. Really good. Okay, nice. Okay, and this is just, should feel back and forth. Gives us a chance to feel the amount of time as we drive that we've got on the balls of our feet. Okay, squeezing the lemon. If we press, okay, we think about Hang the body, hold the form, feel the pressure, balls of the feet. Okay, nice. Feel the chain around this finish, okay? If you let one hand off, at the finish, it's going to do that because it's trying to draw us back. Okay, so let it happen. Be once we've drawn, relax. Okay, we want to have some patience on it for us to guide the speed of it, but the fundamentals are. If we relax, it should come out pretty quickly. Okay, so we're the ones that are guiding to maintain this 19 rate by having the patience on this recovery. Okay, but you should be able to feel it in your hands. Now, if you've got your hands too stiff and we've got too much tension here, we're going to get this, okay? Whereas we can create that draw through but then the opposite the relaxation okay good so nice swinging motion here at 19 
We've got the speed on screen. We're trying to make it continuous. Smooth movements. Okay. Trying to feel this compression at the front and the extension out. Good. Good hang. Okay. Really nice. Okay, so it's a bit slow, you know, 19, anything below 20. Not a big fan. Because I feel like we're manufacturing too much. Okay, so we're about to go up to 21. Now. See that screen click over? Beautiful. Okay, so now we have the ability just to free up what we're doing. Make it feel a little bit more natural in terms of our speed back and forward. Okay, nice. Okay, so as we're rolling in, remember to keep the chest, the head nice and relaxed. Keeping it up, okay? If we drop the head or we drop the shoulders or the chest comes forward, okay, we get this motion, okay? Which sort of slips our body down. Vice versa, if we come up too much with it, we start looking like this, okay? Whereas if we Get this rhythm off the back. We sit there. We're elastic with the pack up. We can press. Okay. And then we can just push out. We're holding that motion. We're holding that body. In a nice structural position. Okay. Structural is a good word rather than strong, okay, yes, we want to have engagement, but strong tends to be, uh, whereas structures like, I've got good posture, I've got the ability now to hang the amount of pressure that I can produce, okay, and just remember, but this is repetitive, time and time again. Yes, we're working on things, but create that speed of the flywheel. Think about parts of the stroke, okay, as I talk about it, or as you feel it. See what it does to the screen, right? We've got instant feedback. Nice, okay, there it is. Okay, and we're just rolling back and forward. Remember the suppleness of our knees. We want to drive the legs down, but we don't want to lock them out, okay? There's a difference. There's a good, solid push with suppleness, which allows the knees to break as we bring the body forward. And then there's lockout which means that it's a bit awkward coming forward, okay? Little subtleties make a big difference in the overall rhythm, okay? So, preparing to go up, 
23, you know what to do now. So just move everything. Just that little bit quicker. Okay? That's all we need to do. A little bit quicker on the recovery. Leg speed is slightly faster. Okay, nice. Roll in. Okay, no grab at the front. Remember, take up legs and body through there. Nice, through the middle. Hang on. Good motion, okay, this is beautiful. Breathe, relax the face. Okay, with me again. Think about this chain. I mean, into the body, that one plane, okay? If we see the chain sort of moving too much, doing all this shit, not really helping, okay? Nice and flat and parallel is the optimal chain path on the rower, okay? Well, that press both feet together. Okay, good. Really nice. Okay, this is good. Okay, so we're going to free it up. And we start moving up and right again. Focus the take up, the speed of the drive, the speed of the recovery. Okay? Up 25. This one. Now. Remembering what we're trying to achieve. Flywheel speed. And maintain. Okay, there it is. Once you feel like you're there, breathe into it, feel the rhythm, hang long, try and release the tension up in the arms, up in the shoulders, hang it underneath the armpits. as we compress and then unravel. Nice, with the flywheel. Okay, listen to it for a second. One smooth. You can hear the point where it Reaches its peak. Okay, breathe through here. The next few minutes. Make sure we're focused on the ease of movement. Freedom of speed. Focus on that flywheel. 
Okay, up two. Now one minute. Okay, just feel the speed. Not outright power. Good. One motion with me. Swing through the middle, off the leg drive. Okay, breathe, open the mouth. Okay, good. Okay, so as we go down, Remember, hold the acceleration, yeah? And let the flywheel slow down over a period. Still feel the drive, but just our patience. On the recovery, go. Nice motion, okay? Right, hang with me. Breathe, deep breaths. Feel the metronomic. Continuous motion. Good. Okay, really nice. This is hard. Only if we make it difficult. If we Keep this movement, find the relaxation. Keep the hang. We won't find too much muscle fatigue. Okay, down another one. Okay. Two strokes to 23. Same again. Speed of the drive. So really sit into this rhythm here. See, I'm only just sort of feeling like I'm back to a speed that I'm comfortable with. Took a little bit of time. Okay, now I'm gonna get this continuous motion, rolling. Remember the connection points, the hands and the feet here. When we feel that pressure on the feet, we should feel the hang and the handle there. Okay, good. Now feel the seat being in connection with those two. Okay, none of those three should feel out of proportion. Okay, if you feel the seat going too quick, you've got to control that shoot. If we feel like the hand's coming back a bit quick, think about it. 
Okay, but if we feel like all three of them have got this connection, this synergy together, okay? then we know we're pretty close to having a good grasp on the biomechanics. Okay? Hang with me. Core. Feel that body open up through the hips and the core. Off. The leg drive. Nice. Okay, same when we go down. We're the ones holding the patience. Hold the speed of the stroke. Now. See that? Hold these connection points. Patience. Good. Breathe. Drive. Recover. Recovery. Patience. Open the mouth. Okay, one smooth drive. Feel the feet. Feel the lemons. As we press together. Hang long. Okay. Elasticity with the setup. Get our motion happening off the back, but don't be rigid and set. Okay, supple. Elastic body. And press. Got to be able to have take up. Be able to feel the change in direction. Okay, it's momentary, split second stuff. But if we don't have that ability to feel because we're tense and tight, we start getting mechanical. Okay, whereas this here, it needs to be a rhythm, a dance. Emotion. Okay? Runners, swimmers, they're not mechanical. We need to be the same. Good. Okay? We should just be feeling this rhythm, finding good speed. Stroke after stroke, got the rhythm, and we push, evaluate, drive, evaluate, okay, evaluation all the time, do 10 strokes, okay, thinking about our handles around the finish, over the knees, Okay. Is that helping the setup? Is it allowing the body to come over? Good. Okay. Now, body's coming into the front. Am I feeling it come to a compressive halt there? Or is it a little bit of extra? 
Okay? Those are the checkpoints. Those are the evaluations. Okay? Last set. 19 right. So, keep the speed. Acceleration. Hey. Good. Hey, don't work harder. Let it come down naturally. Over the period of however many strokes. And then we get back into that rhythm. Feel the parts of the stroke. Evaluate. Okay. Let's think of our posture around the front. Good extension under the armpits. Okay. There is a difference. Okay. Think about stretching under here rather than over there. Okay. There. Let. Keeping it low with the core. Okay, these big lat muscles of ours. These orangutan fingers. Orangutan arms. Okay, we can hang. The pressure that we create with our body. Okay. We hold this hang. We've got patience. Compress. Let's hang. Feel the connection right through the body. Okay, hold that position. And press. Both feet. Okay, drive that body backwards. The hang holds. Okay, one smooth movement, overlap that power curve, legs, go into the body, the period of time where they're working together, how okay, good, hang, and we want to have that good range of motion, okay? 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, okay? Or vice versa. We get that 15, 20 degree angle of motion. Okay? Beautiful. Means we get 40 degrees from there to there. Even more. I don't know the angle. Okay. And we're doing enough here with the flywheel. It's slowing because of the rating. So we've got time to pick it up. And move it through the middle. Okay, beautiful rhythm tank. Great workout. Okay, last part. Let's really lock it in. Okay, listen to your flywheel. Listen to its fade. Listen to its creation. Is it smooth? Are we smooth or are we jerky? Okay, last five strokes. Feel the motion.
Top of more. Good. Okay, real good. Really, really nice. Okay. Breathe it out. Row it down. <clears throat> okay, nice. Okay. Think about the workout, okay? Obviously, the reflection time. <clears throat> this is where you can be like, you know what, it's pretty good. Or you could be like, you know what, I worked really hard on the way up holding form. I found it really difficult here because I was trying something new. Perfect, okay? Uh, you might have been like, actually, I came off the other end really well because I was feeling that rhythm and I was feeling that speed, okay? I ran out of gas, didn't go hard enough, whatever, okay? Reflection <clears throat> at the end is learning. It's taking something from it. Because at the end of the day, as I've always said, it's really easy to learn something new, right? Really hard to break those old habits. So if we can say, you know what? I really feel like I did make some inroads into breaking out of the thing. But when I got tired here, I felt myself just occasionally just lifting a little bit. It's okay, okay? It's all about this working towards doing new things, pushing those limits, those boundaries, okay? That evaluation that I talk about, okay? I don't think people realize the amount of thinking you need to be doing on a machine, okay? It's mentally draining. And the best way I personally feel to, to make sure it's not super mentally taxing is to, to break it down into bits, okay? And I think we do it quite well where I'll be like, right, let's think about finish, okay? Or let's think about the next. So you think about that for a period of strokes, okay? Now you think about the feet, okay? So now we've thought about the whole recovery and you bring it all together. You're like, oh, actually, that was real good. I felt that there, I felt nice there, I felt coming onto the feet, okay? And you think about that for a few, okay? And now you start thinking about this part here, okay? You're like, oh, actually, it was real good. I felt myself being nice and smooth around the front. And you have to break it down like that because there's no other way. You can't think about hands coming off the back, soft knee break, all smooth here, relax here, coming up to the feet, coming around the front, I'm going to do this around the front, or hold the body, blah, 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 blah. way too much information, okay? That's why it's really good to have all of those things that we think about, right? And when I talk about this connection point, there's three, right? And we were like, boom, and we did that for 45 seconds, okay? You hold that. And you break it down like that, it's the only way you're going to get through it Okay, and as I say, you can evaluate by seeing on screen what's happening. Speed goes slower, but does it feel easier? Because if it does, okay, it might just mean that you can put in a little bit more pressure. And these are the things you've got to think about while you're doing it. Okay, but first and foremost is getting this nice, continuous motion of stroke, okay? This smoothness, right? And if we go back... The reason, and I'll just do it now while we're warming down, the reason why I'm not a big fan of rowing with feet out for long periods of time, and I'll show you why, is because what happens is you start getting this like here, and you like to really clamp down to like hold myself from coming off the back because there's no other way, Jesus, uh, of trying to produce that power to hold ourselves from going backwards than by doing this, okay? And I feel that just is that bad habit. Whereas in warm-ups or you're doing a light session and you're focusing on things, yes, you can focus on that part, okay? When the legs and the body start to combine there, okay? And you can feel this, this, and those there to the point that you can feel the the pressure coming 
off the feet, which is about, for me, there, okay? So the legs and body. So I could almost do this at like a straight arm type of thing because I feel like that's the point where I'm going to come off. Okay, it was just something I was thinking about while we were doing it. But that I just see a lot of things online. People are like, oh, you should try feet up rowing. Great for exercise. I just feel like, as I demonstrated there, if you're getting that front part right, okay, that's what it's there to do. It's there to get that part there till the body starts coming through and you start feeling it come off the feet, okay? And the reason that we have the strap is that when that happens, you just continue the body motion and you've got the feet holding onto that strap. It's why you, you let the toes come up, okay? Anyone that says keep the feet pointed on the thing, don't listen to it, okay? I don't normally say don't listen to some shit, but that is terrible, okay? You have to let that body come back. It's the reason we have the strap, okay, is to feel that swing through. And the toes will come up because your feet are going to come back off the, the thing. You try and point them too much, you're taking away from this momentum of the body as you're swinging it through, okay? Right, chit-chat time. Boom. Uh... Nice session. Worked on timing legs, body, arms, spine. Be careful on my shoulders and biceps. Thanks, Eric. No worries, Michael. Um, uh, yeah, it's hot here too. Uh, uh, fan said on high, Robo does. Yep. I uh, really appreciate you breaking down the phases of the stroke. A um, lot to be learned in the body awareness. Yep. Reciprocation to Ryan. Uh, way more just cranking out a high stroke rate, Chris. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we need to think about... The thing is, right, we, we have to... Huh, You've got to know how to walk before you run, right? It's the same with this. You've got to know, got to know how to do things before you go up. Because with with rowing, is that you're trying not to let the technique change from low low rate to high rate, okay? But it does, okay? Things have to move quicker. You're probably going to get it. You know, you, you're only just going to clear the knees with the handles. You know, all this sort of stuff. So yes, there is a difference. But if you if you just sitting away, cranking it along all the time and not getting the mechanics of the stroke, you won't get your potential, okay? And that's all I'll ever say. You're not going to get your potential. That's all we're trying to do is find everybody's potential and you just won't potentially find your potential. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Um, uh, Jason, what's Jason? Uh, I'll try this thing of working on just one part of the row. You're right thinking about every part. It's, yeah, it is too much. Is way too much, okay, and and hence why I think when we do, when you do repeats or, you know, and I feel like you you, you have to break it down, and then you're obviously trying to get it all right at the finish, uh, but there's just you, the thing with the row machine is you've always got to be on, you've always got to be thinking, okay, and this is why if you get out into the into your gym or in your garage and you're like, real fuck, man, I'm really not feeling this today. That's when you do something short. That's when you go, you know what, I'll just do some three-minute pieces. I'll do, I'll do eight three-minute pieces, right? And I'll go 20, 22, 24, 20, 22, 24, whatever, right? And you just think about the things. And it's short time on screen. You've got just enough time to, like, push it, think about something, and then you have a break, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you're not feeling it and you go, I'm going to do a 30-minute row, you're just going to be in fairyland. You're probably not going to give it the right – mental capacity okay but this is why interval staff or doing things on the on the machine is really important to use this function of this thing here to be able to do it right and you might go actually i'll just do five one k's okay i'll set it for a k i'll have a two minute break in between and every time you just do something on the way down just think about the rhythm on the first one and then the second one you might do a bit of rating third one you might do 500 at 22 the next 524 and you just Use this to be switched on, okay? And that's the hard part, is because it is a really, really mentally taxing sport to be able to do, uh, especially when you're not feeling it. And I'll tell you what, I, I'm probably the king of it. <laughs> I've been there and done it multiple, multiple times over my over the years, okay? And I'm sure we've all been in that position. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, mentally drained from this workout. Thanks, Robo. All good. Um, exercise of discipline. Yep, perfect. Um, uh, great session in coaching. Thanks, Michael. Clint, uh, coming down in rate was a challenge. Getting into the metronome helped. Thanks. Clint, yeah, the, the thing with it, Clint, is, and as I say, right, and, and I've hopefully I've explained it to every everyone well enough, is that when you come down is that you get this disparity between the speed of the drive and the patience on the recovery, right? And like normally we want to be like this and like this, right? And it's like this and it's like this, right? So you can see how I'm moving, right? This is the drive, this recovery. But then when you come down and rate, this is still here, but this has to be slower. This is still here. This has to be slow. So we're the ones controlling it, right? And when I mean control, it's patience. It's just like gliding. It's like, let's just let's take a little bit more time. Let's keep gliding, 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 gliding. And then I've still got the speed, and then I'm gliding, 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 gliding. And then I've still got the speed, right? But what's going to happen is this is going to slow down over a period of strokes. Every stroke, it loses 10 revolutions, 20. Now we're down 30. Now we're down 40, now we're down 42, 44, 45, 50, whatever, right? And now we're back to that consistent one from, from whatever that was on the way up, say speed, and this is probably the same speed here, but it might have taken us 30 seconds, might have taken us 40 seconds, might have taken us a minute to get that back into that rhythm and that ratio. And that's the whole thing with coming down, is it? it's an exercise because normally you don't worry about it, but it's an exercise on... On discipline, as, as people put, as, as Robo was saying, because you have to think about how you're doing it, right? You've got to be like, actually, I'll just take a little bit more time. I'll, I'll just think about how I'm getting across here and, and the glide of the seat a little bit more, and I'll have a little bit more relaxation, but then I've still got that speed of the drive because the flywheel is still sp spinning on that recovery. It's just losing a little bit more, okay? Uh, really been working on the hang, and I've been finding the chain drifts left and right on the recovery as I try to keep lats arm symmetrical. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, like that, but there's not too much. The one thing is, like, I, I saw a whole lot of people at the, the champs, you know, and, like, I can see knees doing things on the way up just because of flexibilities or, you know, a lot of people, one knee was, like, slightly more centred than the other, that type of thing. Um, but it is really just, as I say, the the I think that there's more... Doing this, okay, on the way forward, this 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 affects the body, okay. Now, if you if you try and like say you say you're really you're really flexible that way, but not not that way. So what might happen is this arm might slightly go further out. So you might see the chain do like sideways stuff on the way forward. It's not not too bad, okay. But if you start doing this, this affects the body, okay. So if this is if you can see the chain going in and coming down to here. This affects the way that you get onto it, okay? Because I see, I saw a lot of it, right? People coming in here, and then it's like that, okay? Because that's an easy way to get onto it, because you're gonna feel bang straight away, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna go fast or sustainable, but that there is bang straight on. And when people get taught that you want to be getting it right from the front, and from here you have to have all the power, okay? that's the, the first thing that they start to do because that's how you get onto it straight away because you go, oh, and you've got the connection really quick. But it doesn't allow you to get that swing through the middle, which creates acceleration, okay, which creates more momentum and force, okay, hence why, yeah. So I would say think about that more. Don't worry about if it's coming forward, you know. Um, I think that's perfect. Okay, Doug? Uh, I wrote today... Uh, 90 angles 90 banana handles much easier in my elbows seem to help uh pronated hand position awesome uh perfect okay right plenty of chat any more questions um check it in otherwise we can wrap the session up um be very good um back i'm going to do a pre-record uh that's going to go out next week um because i've got to go to Vietnam to do a, uh, a speaking event. Um, so I will, and I'll communicate the message, make sure that it's in there. We might even release it a little bit earlier so that everybody can do it. Um, and then hopefully after that, the diary's pretty good, okay? We'll be 
we're coming into autumn here. Well, nearly. Still a little bit of summer left. Um, and then as we roll through daylight savings and everything, time zones are going to change all over the world uh, and we'll roll into a few things, okay? Um, but keep it up. Keep working on things. Um, everything that's here, everything that's on all the other ones, you can go back and do things. Just keep that understanding, okay? Keep working on yourself, the way that you're feeling things. Put your camera there, record it, have a look. You know, lots of people do it on the indoor community. Uh, they really want to get help and techniques. Send them this way. Anyone that's online, send them this way. Come and watch Eric. And because at the end of the day, just the small things that everybody can get, okay? And, and I'll, be, I'll be open and honest. Like everyone might not like my style, right? They might not like the way that I coach. Uh, but if I can give a little bit of a tidbit to someone, a little bit of a pointer, and they're like, actually, that feels even better than what I was doing. It actually feels better. Cool, right? They might not like it. They might be like, no, I'm only here for 500, so I'm going to fucking grab the front. Perfect. Great. Do what you need to. Uh, we're all doing different things, but I'm just here trying to help it in terms of an experience point of view, biomechanics, physiology, boom, okay? Betterment for everybody. Okay. Uh, get your 1K in this week, Eric. Fuck, do I have to do a 1K? Uh, right, eh? Uh, maybe. Maybe, would it be wise to put, uh, would it be wise to do like another warm up video for just, I'll, I'll see what everyone sees in the chat now. Would it be wise to do another warm up video that we could use next week and then you guys do the thousand with? Because I still feel like there's still a lot of, I've, I get a few questions every now and again from people wanting to know a really good ideal warm up and, and how they should go about preparing for like a piece and all this sort of thing. So I'm just wondering whether that would be something wise to have and then we can, then people could use it as, and adapt it, right? Only, only just use it from an experience point of view of like, this is what I feel like gets your body and the heart rate and the movements and everything ready to do like a, a flat out piece. Uh, would that be something good to to put in there? Okay, maybe. You let me know. Okay, um, because if we do that, I feel like it might help. Both said you can pace us for the one k. Okay, bro, bro, settle down. Yeah. So what I might do is I might do the warm up video. Uh, I'll put it in there. And then you guys can go about doing your piece afterwards because we can't really, I could do like a four minute, but that's not really going to help anyone. Uh, it's because when you're doing stuff like full tip, I feel like it's just on your own to be able to go for it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll do a warm up video um, because I feel like you'd still need to be doing 20 plus minutes at least going into a 1K. Okay. Because I, and, and the only reason I say that is because if you start thinking about something like this, right, you might have started feeling something really good around here, okay? Uh, and that's 15, 16 plus the four minutes we did beforehand, okay, starting to get up and rate, and that's not even getting up into the full rate. So you're looking at 20 plus minutes even before you get up into here. And I feel like that's, that's something that the body needs to wake up to, okay? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that this week. Uh, and I'll post it online. Uh, we'll try and get it up there a little bit earlier because I will be in the air uh, come Monday next week. Okay, perfect. Job done. I know what we're doing. Great session. Let's let's cut it there. You've got stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. Um, let's enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, have a good week next week. Uh, look out for the video, and we'll be um, we'll be back on soon. Okay, perfect. Thanks, team. All the best. Stay safe. Thanks for me and the Sensei team. Catch you later.